Hi class, today we're going to be looking at electricity and this is chapter 16 in your book. Um, the basics of electricity, so just kind of looking at some terms here. Electricity is caused by the flow or movement of electrons. Electric current is the rate that positive charges flow in a circuit. So if you notice here, if this is our battery, that's how you would indicate a battery, and these are our wires in black. Notice the flow of positive charges from the positive to the negative end of the battery. The electrons are going to go the opposite way. They work opposite of each other. So it's actually a measure of the rate that negatively charged electrons move. Electrons will move from higher to lower potential. Electric current is measured in amps or amperes. And um, you don't have to know this part, but the ampere is equal to one coulomb of charge per second. That portion of it you don't necessarily need to know now, but if you were to see it again, um, at least you've seen it here. Um, voltage or potential difference is a measure of the potential energy in joules. Um, voltage occurs across the two terminals of a battery. So when we're going from the positive to the negative end, that's your voltage or potential energy that's there. Um, batteries can range from 1.5 volts, and we'll work with that in a little bit in a virtual lab that we're going to do, um, for a small battery to a 12 volt for a car battery. Uh, batteries can be dry cells or wet cells, and so dry have um, the components inside of the battery are dry. Um, you might have seen a battery that has kind of exploded before or opened up, and you'll see that stuff kind of oozing out, and that's the, the dry material that's inside um, that carries the charge or holds the charge. Um, or a battery uh, in your car, it has a liquid um, acid that's in there that allows for the potential energy. And voltage sets charge in motion. Electrons move from the negative terminal to the positive ter terminal. Resistance um, talks about things that will um, either hinder or change the charge um, or the flow of that charge. And so resistors will oppose the rate of charge. It's caused by internal friction, and the resistance of the filament of a light bulb determines how bright the light bulb is. So as an example, 40 watt bulb has a higher resistance than a 100 watt bulb. Resistance is equal to voltage over current, um, or you could calculate this way, voltage is equal to current times resistance, and the unit is the ohm. Conductors allow electrons to flow easily. They contain a lot of free electrons, and so there's very little resistance to current flow. Good conductors, some examples are metals, copper, gold, silver, aluminum, and then electrolyte solutions. So we are a good conductor. We have electrolytes in our body. We conduct electricity very well, which is why um, you can be electrocuted. Insulators do not allow electrons to flow easily or at all, so there's very few free electrons. Some insulator ideas um, or examples would be air, wood, and glass. If we look at a relationship of current to potential difference, which is voltage, um, as current increases, potential difference or volts increase. And so you can see that in this graph here. Two examples, example A and example B. Current increases and potential difference or voltage increases. Um, one of the other things here, as current increases, resistance decreases. So our current has gone up and the resistance is, is low if our current is high. Um, some ex examples or explanation of circuits. Um, circuits include a bulb, a battery, and wires as an example. So you have to have an energy source. You have to have wires that connect um, the positive to the negative end. And you have to have something in the middle that is a resistor like a bulb. A closed circuit has a completed path where electricity will flow through the entire thing, lighting the bulb or lighting, um, or I shouldn't always say lighting. It could be like a blender or a toaster or something like that. Um, an open circuit does not have a complete path, so there's no current running at that time. Parallel circuit has multiple paths for a circuit. So if one light bulb goes out, the entire system is still working. It's just that light bulb is burnt out. Um, in a series circuit, there's one path for a circuit. So if a light bulb goes out, the entire strand of lights goes out, kind of like um, uh, Christmas lights sometimes are like that. And then this is an example of um, how we would draw a series circuit. So a battery, the flow of electrons goes around. We have a switch here that right now is open. If you close that, then the um, electrons will flow easily all the way around. This is a series. If lamp A goes out, then B and C will not be on as well. Parallel, 
Nice an example here, we have our battery, we have our switch. Right now it's open, so nothing is on. We close that switch, um, they, the electricity can run through both of these pathways. And so if one light bulb goes out, the other one stays on.